check for advanced registered button as you can see it's available in this particular room and i'm directly booting into recovery using that if you don't have that there is a traditional method to boot into recovery by pressing the volume up button and power button simultaneously and use the same twrp recovery as shown in this video and flashing method is also very simple follow the same methods hence you cannot face any problems during the flashing of any ROM so you can see here this is the TWRP 3.7.0120 FBV2 for Surya Karna both the devices you can use this is my POCO X3 Indian variant go to wipe section first and select the advanced wipe and select all the options here Dalvik art cache package cache cache metadata and data swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select the install and select the micro sd card or wherever you downloaded the rom zip file and firmware select that folder here and first always flash the firmware the latest firmware available for surya or karna the poco x3 slash nfc is 13.0.1.0 flash the same surya global flash it if you have any devices you can flash the same firmware to avoid problems and go to install again and again select the rom zip file this is a pixel os surya 13 point oh this is the latest available build for poco x3 slash nfc i can show you little bit closer here you can see here october 24th is the build date it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed You can see here the ROM zip file has been flashed successfully here. Go to home section and select here wipe and select format data and type here YES and press this tick button. This is how the simple the flashing ROM method. Use the same firmware and same ROM zip file and same recovery. You will never face any problems once this has been done. Go to reboot and select the system. As you can see, it's booted into Pixel OS based on Android 13 for Poco X slash NFC. Let's begin this video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. You can see this is a Pixel OS based on Android 13 with october 5th 2022 latest security patch kernel uses 4.1 4.190 4 quick silver surya kernel has been used this is the latest build available for poco x3 slash nfc and i've been using the cp throttling test from last 9 minutes and 15 seconds you can see here the scores are very good the maximum this is 100 threats test guys maximum is 192 average is 187 and minimum is 160 7 and there is no throttle that much there is only 94 percent of its max performance which is good this is just app settings and this is the home screen you get i'm seeing this kind of new wallpapers has been implemented here and basic colors as you can see this is an android 13 visual change you can see right away here and dark theme i don't get any option in order to make pitch black only option available is just change the wallpaper to just here solid colors keep it black then it will become pitch black other than that you get some of the wallpapers here feathers and some of the come alive those things are implemented nicely in my opinion and widgets those are also properly implemented the material u design has been carried away in this android 13 very well and there's the one complaint still available in the qs panel you can see there is no automatic brightness toggle here just it is in the separate icon that you need to add in the edit section as you can see that i think for few of them they are liking it it seems i don't know let me know in the comment section guys few people like only the slider they need not to have any option it seems but i really missing that the option should have been given here that's simply missing here and new updated apps like dialer and contacts has been now implemented with google do you and meet the video call supports are also fine here let me show you as you can see direct video call feature is also available and a little bit enhancement has been done in the dialer and contacts settings and call recording feature is also available in this rom and the ui wise it's smooth as you can see double tap to wake and double tap to sleep are also working fine and app opening and scrolling between the apps and even the multitasking and the app drawer you can see swiping is fast enough in my opinion and this is the actual quick settings panel as i said 
now here you get app actives proper implementation has been done just this toggle i don't know but i really missing that auto brightness toggle should be here small one is still missing here and uh, drm information in this particular rom you get level 1 certification you can watch all the odt application like uh, hotstar amazon prime you can watch in high definition resolution that's not the problem here and safety net status and you can also check out the app opening time it's quite fast compared to previous pixel os rom you can say it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use them and google maps are also working fine location wise it's fine and google photos unlimited storage is also available that's good in my opinion and recorder this is a new type android 13 style working fine and google go camera has been pre-installed here for basic things you can use this if you want you can use advanced gcam port for poco x3 like this i'm using the snap sorry the arno build gcam you can use any other gcam ports but this is recommended from my side it up to you and even the internet speeds mobile connectivity i had no problems and earpiece quality is also fine where we seen the pixel experience from previous version it had a problem while using the headphone jack it wasn't working that's not the case in this particular rom speaking about performance here android benchmark and app opening time you can see 3,69,407 and temperature raise was 2 degrees celsius and battery drop has been 4 percent during this testing which is good in my opinion but not great still the performance is very good in this particular rom in geekman scores you won't get any scores like miui as you can see but still the single score is very good here 556 and multi score is 1750 and kernel as i said before linux 1.4.15 190 quick silver kernel as been used based on android this is android 13 this is cool in my opinion this is all the apps i have installed and battery life is also good let me explain these are all the actual settings you get as you can see no customization within the settings itself you get a customization for example apps you can see here you can choose the default apps from here and assistant proper implementation has been the given special app access you get plenty of options here you can restrict and unrestrict from here notifications also bubbles enhanced notifications some of the settings you can read on the screen you can see those things are still maintained here you guys can see the battery settings has been here battery usage doesn't record that much but i can say the ideal battery drain is very very minimal here and screen on time if i can yes it hasn't been yeah for 24 hours it hasn't been showing here the screen on time but you can wait for some of the cycles happen and then it will come to close to your miui roms it's quite similar but the battery drainage is very very minimal and these are the display settings you get quite similar to any pixel experience of pixel os rom and dark theme as i said before there is an option here to make pitch black condition display and size these things are still available icon manager you can enable or disable live display you can choose some of the options here and colors also live display can we make it color calibration yeah that's it only evolution x has some little more customization but anyhow the smooth display option is also given and tap to wake tap to sleep is given here full screen apps refresh rate per app is given and additional display features yeah that has been implemented this is quite good but don't use this whenever you play high end games like bgm i like that but other than that it's working fine and accessibility menu is also given and some of the accessibility settings you can see here color and display size and texture and motion extra dim options magnification select to speak and actual accessibility menu just use this toggle in order to use volume and brightness without using the physical buttons and even without dragging the brightness you can see the notifications toggles from here as you can see it's a handy feature it's a handy feature you need to definitely try in and 12 plus roms which is going to be helpful in my opinion and security features you get fingerprint unlock here no face unlock or anything like that and encryption credentials it's encrypted flashing method as i already shown in start of the video you can check out there if you skip this and system you get gestures and system navigation some of the other options like quick touch one hand and more three fingers swipe to screenshot quickly open camera quick tap to start actions those are prevent here 
present here and enable advanced restart button is also available from here and gestures going into system navigation into gesture navigation here you get immersive navigation which disables the gesture bar here and that's it no more customization here it's simple ui those who are looking for this kind of ui you can definitely use it as a daily driver and let me show you charging animation speed i really like the cool wallpapers what they implemented in this particular rom and as you can see straight away it is showing charging rapidly which is a good thing in my opinion this is a very good rom available for poco x after so many days we are getting this kind of rom that is i am speaking for simple ui those who are seeking for those kind of roms this is going to be a very good rom the only complaint should be the auto brightness sensor should be i mean the toggle should be present here and the dark theme pitch black theme should be given and little bit of customization at least in the gesture bar like that would be appreciated in the upcoming builds as of now it's fine as you can see even the gaming is also going to be moderate here i don't think this is going to be a gaming rom or anything like that but still those are looking for an very good performing rom then you can look out this and also the customizations are very little that you need to keep in mind and hope so i explained everything as you can see ram management is also going to be good no problem as of now and yeah sound settings i forget to say that okay sound and vibration you get all the options here and me sound and as this is i am liking for poco x3 after android 13 you get all the options here in any custom rooms i mean majority of the roms adding this direct sound settings which are good in my opinion hi-fi sound is also given you can choose the headphone type and preset and also scene here that's really good you can customize to next level instead of dolby atmos this can make little bit of difference in experiencing the audio and video in order to use the multimedia that's it guys i hope explained everything in this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling baba for now